Hi everybody, Robert Jones back with you doing a little taste test. Today we have something completely different that I have never even tried myself ever in a restaurant or anything. So I'm kind of excited. I found this at the Korean market down in LA and I thought it'd be really fun to try it. So as long as we're on a noodle kick and this is noodle number two, we have today the Asian style sweet potato starch noodles vermicelli. Okay. Um, and they're kind of gray. Can you guys see that? It's kind of, kind of a weird color. Um, so I was reading this before I got on camera just to, to see what languages it was in and could I read it to you guys. Um, so just to show you here, it's a big bag. It's a big giant bag. Um, let's see. So this is from Hong Hui USA Inc. is what it says here. It says it's vermicelli. It's in Korean and English, but then on the back here, it says product of PRC, the People's Republic of China. And thought, it kind of thought it was weird. It wasn't just China, but it's the PRC. I don't know if they're hiding that or what's going on, um, but it's in both Korean and English, but not Chinese. I am a little confused, but that doesn't matter because this is exciting. Um, this is, uh, let's see, it says that this is uh, Asian style sweet potato starch noodles. And all it says is it has sweet potato starch and water. Now, what is the difference between potato starch and sweet potatoes other than the vegetable? I don't know. We're going to find out. Um, I was reading this. It says to uh, cooking instructions, japchae. Am I saying that right? J-A-P-C-H-A-E. Japchae. Stir fried noodles and vegetables. No, I'm not going to go to all that craziness. I'm just going to taste the noodles for you guys. Um, I'm sure there's a thousand different, different, dishes, different dishes you can make. It even has a picture of this recipe here. It's kind of like a noodle salad looking thing. Um, it has three bundles in here and the cooking instructions say boil the dried vermicelli noodle. I think it's so weird they call it vermicelli. Um, for 10 minutes, drain and toss sesame oil so that they don't stick together. Prepare vegetables, blah, 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 blah. But 10 minutes, that's quite a long time to cook this. So, all right, I'm gonna go cook this up and we'll give it a taste. All right, you guys, as long as our noodles are cooking, I thought I'd show you what these bad boys look like. No, this is not part of my beard, although it very much could be. Look, it's camouflage. Seriously. Or maybe you want it like this. Super camouflage. You cannot even see it. It's crazy. All right, so these are the noodles. Um, they come in a packet like this. This is quite a big packet. This would probably be two or three people's worth. And it says right on here, Asian style sweet potato starch noodle or witch's broom. All right, you guys, I did some cooking of this and it's a little weird to me because the package said 10 minutes of cooking, which 10 minutes for pasta, let alone big thick like lasagna noodles is a long time. So um, I kept checking this and literally at three minutes, the stuff was done. Can you see it is steamy hot? Um, it's kind of funky. I don't think I've ever had noodles like this. They're kind of like mung bean noodles, but they're very different. And it's very, it's very shiny and clear. Um, and I did put a little bit of butter in this just to keep them from sticking to each other, which it said oh, sesame oil or oil, and I don't have any of that right now. So um, I'm trying to twirl this up here so I can get a bite for you guys. They're very stringy. It almost is like um, like tentacles, and they're very they're very sticky. So. Can you guys see the color? It's kind of a funky color. Funky cold McCullough. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm, that's good. Yeah, 10 minutes, I think these would be disintegrated into dust, seriously, or into liquid tea, like my mother likes. Mom, I'm watching you. Um, Let's get another taste of these. They're they're very, um, they're almost like rubber bandy. They're kind of, uh, Chewy. I can't seem to get them with the chopsticks very well here. They're, they all stick together. But um, they have a nice flavor. They have a nice chewiness. I think if these were made into a cold salad or like I said, with vegetables. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm trying to get just a small piece here and it's not happening. So I'm just gonna take a bite. Hang with me. Mmm. I'm scared to death of getting these in my beard because they'd never be found. All right, you guys. So here we are, the sweet potato starch um, noodles. These are good. I don't know if these are the best things in the whole world. Um, I give them a five or six, they're okay. I would buy them again, they'd be fun. They'd be a nice novelty for a dinner party or something like that. Um, 
I don't quite know the use of these specifically other than just, you know, another starch if you don't have other things. I guess it'd be really good if you were um, gluten intolerant. So these are gluten free. Um, it doesn't say it on there. Here's a question. The heck is that? There's something blue and fuzzy. That's very strange. Oh well. All right, you guys. So these noodles are okay. I give them uh, maybe a little bit higher than that. Maybe a five, six, seven. They're all right. Um, I like the ramen ones better, but there you go. All right, you guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Come on back for more. We'll keep tasting noodles. I got one more to go today. And um, yeah, give me a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you next time.